Okay, this is the lesson two for introduction to structures. Uh, in this uh, presentation, we are going to study how to determine reactions for simple supported beams through an example. So let's say we have a simple supported beam, as you can see in the, in the screen, that is subjected to two different loads. You have um, a distributed load, a uniform distributed load or UDL of 10 kN per meter from the start of the structure to the middle across 3 meters of the span of the beam. And you have as well a punctual load in the middle of the span equal to 20 kN and is coming down. So just as a reminder, I include in here the signs the conventional sign for the displacements and rotations and the conventional sign for forces and moments as well. So the first uh, step to, to analyze this, uh, this, uh, this beam and its reaction is to define two points, the point A and point B, where we have the pin support and the roller. After that, we replace the restrictions, the pin support and the roller, by the expected reactions that this support will introduce in the structure or in the beam. So the pin support will introduce two reactions, an horizontal one we are going to call AZ, a vertical one we are going to call AY, and the roller will introduce or will produce a reaction in the vertical direction we are going to call BY. Um, so these reactions are in principle unknown in value and unknown in direction as well. But we need to choose a direction based on our intuition or simply choose a, a, a direction to start um, writing equations of equilibrium and to, to be able to determine the values of these reactions. So I choose to use the positive direction for these forces. So all these reactions are positive because the horizontal one is going to the right, which is positive in my convention. And the vertical reactions are positive because they are going up, which is positive in my convention I choose at the beginning of this exercise. So all the distances are perfectly defined. So we are able to start writing some equations. But before writing the equation, we are going to introduce a simplification in this problem because we have an UDL in here that will make some trouble if we don't um, introduce this simplification. So this, um, in the first place, the, the equation of equilibrium we have to use to resolve this, the reaction of this uh, beam are the summation of forces in the horizontal direction has to be equal to zero. The summation of forces in the vertical direction has to be equal to zero as well. And the summation of moments at any point of the structure need to be equal to zero. So as I said before, the first step is to simplify this UDL. Instead of using a UDL, we are going to replace the UDL by a concentrated force applied in the middle of the UDL. So we have a UDL of 10 kN per meter across three meters. So 10 times three is 30. So we have 30 kN applied in the middle of this UDL, which is equivalent to the effect of the UDL itself. So now we have two punctual loads. We are able to write equation thinking in consideration moments without any problem because the distances are perfectly defined. In the first place, the first equation I'm going to write is the equation of summation of forces in the horizontal direction. So as you can see in here, the summation of forces in the Z direction, which is the horizontal one, is equal to AZ, which is positive, the reaction I expected to have, and there is no any other horizontal load on this structure. And this is the reason why this equation finishing here and is equal to zero. Then from this reasoning, we arrive to the conclusion that the AZ, the horizontal reaction at the pin support in the left stream of the beam is equal to zero. This is the reason why we're going to delete this reaction because this reaction is equal to zero. We don't need to complicate the free body diagram of this structure. So, at the moment, what we have is a simple supported beam that is subjected to two punctual loads and that have two vertical reactions at A and B, respectively. So, 
I'm going to write now the equation of summation of moments at the point B. The point B is this point here, is the point where the roller is located. So the first moment I can identify in here is the moment produced by this vertical reaction AY. The moment is equal to the force multiplied by the perpendicular distance to the point B, the point of reference. And the moment is positive because it's close-wise. It's close-wise because the rotation that this force tends to produce around the point B is close-wise. So it's positive the rotation that is produced and it's positive the moment. So this is the reason why these terms in this equation, the first term is, is positive. The second force I have in my structure is 30 kN that is producing a rotation around B which is anti-close-wise, so it's a negative moment. And this is the reason why we have a negative sign in this second term. And the moment is equal to the force, 30 kN, multiplied by 4.5 meter, which is the distance from the force to the point B, which is the reference point. The next term of this equation of moments is 20 kN times 3 meters, negative because the moment is anti-closewise. So the rotation is anti-closewise, and then the moment is negative. And all of this, because there is no any other force producing moments in this structure, has to be equal to zero by equilibrium. Uh, I have to say that the moment produced by BY is equal to zero because the distance, the perpendicular distance from BY to B is equal to zero. So when I multiply BY times zero, this is equal to zero. I don't need to include this unknown in the equation. So this is a linear equation, an equation that can be solved easily rearranging the equation, so this is what I'm going to do. I will move all these terms, these negative terms to the other member as positives, and I will divide all of them by six meters because it's multiplying, so I will pass this factor to the other member dividing. And doing the mathematical operations, I arrive to the conclusion that the reaction, the reaction um, Ay is equal to 32.5 kilonewtons. So I can replace um, the value in my free body diagram and I can delete my equation because I don't need it anymore. So at the moment I know the value of the uh, vertical reaction Ay equal to 32.5 kilonewtons. Now is the term from uh, the determination of the vertical reaction By. In order to do that, I'm going to take moments around the point A. The point A is where the pin support is located, as you remember. So the first moment I see is the moment of BY multiplied by 6 meters. And because it's anti-closewise, it is to say, tend to produce a rotation anti-closewise around the point A. This moment is negative is, and is equal to BY times 6 meters. The next moment I have is the moment produced by 30 kN, which is close-wise, then positive, and is equal to 30 kN times 1.5 meter, the distance, the perpendicular distance from the force to the point A, which is the point of reference. The next moment is 20 kN times 3 meters, positive because it's close-wise as well, and all of this has to be equal to zero by equilibrium. Again, the moment produced by 32.5 kN around the point A is equal to zero because the distance, the perpendicular distance to the force and to the point A is equal to zero. So rearranging this equation of equilibrium of moments, we arrive to the conclusion that By, the second reaction of this simple supportive beam, is equal to 17.5 kN. I will replace this value in the free body diagram. I will delete the equation and now we have a free body diagram with the values of the external loads that act on the structure, on the simple supportive beam, which are 30 kN and 20 kN, punctual loads of both of them, and the reaction are equal to 32.5 kN, the, uh, the, the reaction to the left, and 17.5 kN, the reaction to the right. We have an equation to verify our own results and it's good to do verifications to be sure that the reactions are well calculated. So we are going to use the summation of forces in the vertical direction to check if the results are consistent. Following our convention of signs regarding the forces, the forces that are acting on the structure are negative, both of them, because they are coming down, and the reactions are positive because they are coming up. 
So the summation of forces in the vertical direction is equal to 30, minus 13 kilonewton, minus 20 kilonewtons, the actions, plus 32.5 kilonewton, plus 17.5 kilonewtons, the reactions. All of these, if you do the operation, is equal to zero. So this means that we have verified our calculation, and these are the actual reaction of this simple supported beam.